taper roller bearings are a maintainable bearing that needs greasing. When assembling a taper roller bearing, get some grease into your hand and scoop the grease into the bearing, pushing it into the back edge working it through all the rollers until it is visible coming through the outside edge. Work it in and keep rotating the bearing until the bearing is totally full. Once the grease is fully through all the rollers then just put a thin smear all the way around the outside of the rollers. This is all a bearing requires, it doesn't require the grease to go in the centre of the hub. Once the first bearing's done, the, the second bearing needs doing. Some hubs have bearings with seals fitted to the rear. It's not as easy to do that and the only way to really do it is to force the grease into the front until it's coming out of the rollers, like so. And the grease starts to come out the rollers. Once the bearings are fitted, place them in inside, like so, ready for the hub to be mounted. Once the bearings are in the drum, mount them onto the shaft. Like so. Then the washer and the castle nut need fitting. Once the castle nuts run up, Get a torque wrench and torque the hub nut up to 70 newton meters. Once this is torqued up, rotate the drum at least one full rotation around. This settles the bearings and settles the brakes. Then back the castle nut off and re-tighten finger tight. Once the nut's been torqued up and refitted, make sure that the split pin can go through the hole and bend it out to stop it from falling. This is quite easily done with a pair of pliers to bend it out over the top and bend the side out the way so that it doesn't touch the outside edge or the bearing. Then the dust cap needs refitting and this is easily done with a soft hammer like so.